Hello and welcome to Dr. Anima Upadhyay's Chemistry and Technology lecture videos. Today's video is in continuation to the nanotechnology videos that I have uploaded in the past and today's topic is the electrical, electronics and optical properties of nanomaterials. Before we begin today's video, I would like you to please subscribe to my channel if you have not done it so far and to also share this video among your friends. I have formatted this video in a simple question answer format for your better learning. So let's begin today's video. What forms the basis of properties of nanomaterials? The properties of nanomaterials are due to their extremely small dimensions leading to large surface area to volume ratio. This results in surface dependent material properties. Why materials behave differently at nano scale than their bulk counterpart? At nano scale, the behavior of the materials changes completely and this is due to their nanometric atomic size which render them large fraction of surface atoms, high surface energy, spatial confinement and reduced imperfections. What important parameters decides the properties of nanomaterials? The principal parameters are shape, size, surface characteristics as well as their inner structure. What are the various forms in which nanomaterials can be present. They can be present in the form of solids, aerosols, suspensions and emulsions. What plays an important role in optical properties of nanomaterials? The quantum confinements plays an inevitable role in the optical properties of nanomaterials. I have already discussed about the quantum confinements in one of my previous videos on nanotechnology. I will give you the link of that video in the description box. State the factors on which properties of nanomaterials depends. It depends on size, shape, specific surface area, aspect ratio, aggregation, size distribution, surface morphology, crystalline and defect structure as well as solubility. Which important properties of nanomaterials makes them industrially relevant? The important industrial properties that makes nanomaterials very special are the electrical, electronic, optical, magnetic, mechanical and chemical properties. All these properties differ greatly from their bulk counterparts and therefore Nanomaterials find immense potential and applications in all areas of science and technology including telecommunication, automobile industries, medicine and agriculture. What is nanoelectronics? Nanotechnology used in electronics is called nanoelectronics. It offers faster, smaller and more portable systems to the existing technology. How are nanomaterials used in microelectronics? Microelectronics is led by semiconductors. Semiconductors have both metallic and non-metallic properties. A variation in their physical and chemical behavior is useful in modern field of science and technology. Nanotechnology is promising in semiconductors as the electronic properties of the semiconductors consisting of the silicon element is emerged with phosphorus nanoparticles to form diodes and transistors. They are the chips used in the manufacture of computers, CPUs and all electronic and electrical devices. Give the significance of nanomaterials in electronic industry. Nanoelectronics increases the capabilities of electronic devices, enhances the density of memory chips, thereby 
reducing power consumption and the size of transistors used in integrated circuits. Thus, nanotechnology plays a significant role in communication and electronics engineering. It has wide range of applications and therefore great impact on the telecommunications industry. Why do nanomaterials show different optical properties from their bulk materials? Nanomaterials have extremely small particle size that exhibit enhanced optical emission as well as non-linear optical properties due to the quantum confinement effect. Why optical properties of nanomaterials are better than the bulk materials? Nanoparticles have a much greater surface to volume ratio than the bulk materials. This increased surface to volume ratio means a large number of surface atoms. It therefore has a much greater effect on chemical and physical properties of nanomaterials. How does the optical properties of nanomaterials helps in the modern day industry? Preparation of polymer semiconductors and other nanocomposite materials have potential applications in different optoelectronics and photonics devices, thus revolutionizing the modern day industries. Why the color of nanomaterials different from their bulk sized particles? It is due to the size of the nanoparticle, which absorbs the light of certain wavelength and emits light at different wavelength. For example, Nanoparticles of size about 90 nanometers absorbs red to yellow light and emits blue-green light. Whereas, particles around 30 nanometer size absorbs blue and green light and appears red in color. What is the effect of different color of nanomaterials from their bulk counterpart called? It is called plasmon resonance effect which is described as the resonance of the outer electron bands of the particles with light wavelengths. What determines the color of the nanoparticles? It is the shape and volume that determines how the nanoparticle interacts with light and thus the color. Why do nanoparticles change color? This is because of the shift of the surface plasmon band to longer wavelengths. This is most prominent in gold nanoparticles. When gold nanoparticles approach each other and aggregate, the color of the nanoparticles changes from red to blue. What are the various colors that can be seen in different sized gold nanoparticles? Nano gold can look red, orange or even blue. The color depends on the size and shape of the nanoparticles and also the distance between them. The red nano gold particles are about 20 nanometers in size while the orange nano gold particles are about 80 nanometers in size. What is the color of silver nanoparticles and why? The silver nanoparticles appears yellow. The UV visible spectra shows an absorption peak due to surface plasmon resonance at 410 nanometers which is the characteristic to yellow color. Therefore, silver nanoparticle solution is yellow in color. What are the applications of nanomaterials depending on their optical properties? The important industrial applications depending upon the optical properties are chemical and biomedical detection, imaging and therapy. It includes luminescence based detection, surface plasmon resonance detection, SCRS, chemical and biochemical imaging, energy conversion which includes photovoltaic solar cells and photoelectrochemical cells PEC, environmental protection which includes photocatalytic and photochemical reactions, lasers, LEDs, solid state lighting and optical detectors, optical filters that includes photonic band gap materials or photonic crystals. Give reasons why the optical properties changes at nanoscale. The reason is its extremely small size, smaller than the wavelength of the visible light. 
the small nanoscale particles restrict the movement of the electrons and does not allow them to move freely as they move in the bulk materials this restricted movement of the electrons in nanoparticles react differently with light as compared to their bulky counterparts it is the energy band structure and charge carrier density that are responsible for optical and electronic properties in any material so these are the reasons why the optical properties changes at nano scale what are the electrical properties exhibited by a material the properties like conductivity or resistivity are the electrical properties exhibited by a material does the conductivity of bulk material depends upon dimensions no the conductivity of a bulk or large material does not depend upon dimensions like diameter or area of cross section or twist in the conducting wire does the electrical conductivity of nano materials changes with dimensions yes the conductivity in case of carbon nanotubes changes with change in the area of cross section it is found that conductivity also changes when some shear force or twist is given to the carbon nanotube and remember carbon nanotube is a nano material conductivity in a multi volt carbon nanotube is different than that of a single volt carbon nanotube of same dimensions the carbon nanotube can act as conductor or semiconductor whereas the carbon or graphite which is a bulk material are always a good conductor of electricity why does the band gap increases when decreasing the size of nano materials band gap increases with the decrease in particle size as the electron hole pairs gets closer and therefore the coulombic interactions between them leads to higher kinetic energy in the nano materials thus the temperature plays an important role in affecting the band gap yes when temperature increases the amplitude of atomic vibrations also increases leading to larger interatomic spacing the interaction between the lattice phonons and the free electrons as well as holes also affect the band gap to a smaller extent how the energy bands formation takes place in bulk materials the energy bands in the bulk matter are formed by the merger of the bunch of adjacent energy levels of a large number of atoms and molecules why there is an increase in the energy gap with decrease in the size of the nanoparticles nanoparticles have higher energy gap compared to the corresponding bulk matter because at nano scale materials have a very small number of atoms or molecules thus the number of overlapping of orbitals or energy levels also decreases as a result the width of the band gets narrower this causes an increase in energy gap between the valence and the conduction band and hence a lower electrical conductivity than the bulk from which they are prepared why there is a shift in absorption spectrum of nanoparticles towards lower wavelength region the band gap is forbidden for the electrons larger this forbidden region greater is the restriction on the movement of electrons and lower is the electrical conductivity this results in a shift of absorption spectrum towards blue or lower wavelength region does the absorption spectrum of nano materials shows a shift towards lower wavelength yes in nano particles there is a shift of absorption spectrum towards lower wavelength or blue region our optical electronic and electrical properties closely related yes they are closely related the optical properties are closely related to electrical as well as electronic properties the optical measurements helps to understand the band gap and the electronic properties of the materials state some applications of nano materials in optical electrical and electronics industry 
नैनो मटीरियल से यूज टू फॉर्म ऑप्टिकल डिटेक्टर्स सेंसर्स लेजर्स डिस्प्ले पैनल्स सोलर सेल्स दे आर ऑल्सो यूज इन बायोमेडिसिन एंड फोटो इलेक्ट्रोकेमिस्ट्री दे यूज इन माइक्रोबियल फ्यूल सेल्स इलेक्ट्रोड्स आर ऑल्सो मेड अप ऑफ कार्बन नैनो ट्यूब्स दे यूज इन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स सच एज कार्बन नैनो ट्यूब्स इन द सेमी कंडक्टर चिप्स अ वेराइटी ऑफ नैनो मेटीरियल्स आर यूज इन लाइटिंग टेक्नोलॉजीज सच एज लाइट एमिटिंग डायोड्स एल ई डीज लेजर्स बैटरीज एंड फ्यूल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स वॉट आर जनरली यूज नैनो मेटीरियल्स इन इलेक्ट्रिकल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड इन ऑप्टिकल इंडस्ट्रीज द कार्बन नैनो ट्यूब्स फुलरीस क्वांटम डॉट्स सिल्वर एंड गोल्ड नैनो पार्टिकल्स आर जनरली used in these industries and with this we come to an end to this video thanks for watching this video till end if you have any queries please leave the question in the comment box i will definitely try to answer your question please share this video and also subscribe to my channel